Welcome, folks, to uh, Frostgrave Week, and this is game number two, uh, turn five, and uh, the game is almost finished. This is the scenario Living Mausoleum from the core book. Now, the difference is I am playing it solo, so I'm using the rules from the book Perilous Dark in Frostgrave. All right, so uh, let's go on to Wizard Phase, turn five. And there is the situation I have. Let's see. I have my archer here. I have my apprentice way in the back here. Okay, and my wizard. And then uh, I have my treasure hunter, my war dog, and my infantry red lady. And I had one more figure that actually made it out of the board with a treasure token and here is the uh, statue the living statue that they are fighting so wizard phase turn five uh, let's do this okay so my wizard is gonna cast a spell a uh, leap it is a uh, base casting roll of eight and I add four to that because it's not from my school of magic he is an illusionist so I need a casting roll of 12. And I'm going to cast it on my apprentice over there to see if we can get out the board with the treasure marker. Okay, casting roll of 12. And that is an 18. So yes, he does. So my apprentice now uh, moves 10 inches in any direction. And the stick is more... It, this, the move is uh, more than enough to go out of the table edge and that's what he's going to do and he just leaps into the air and out he goes and I have just secured another treasure marker okay my wizards turn to move he has one more action this is still the wizards phase so I think I'm gonna move him right over here to this corner just so that he can stay in line of sight of everybody and there's his wound um, okay so now we go from the wizards phase to the creature phase okay so that living statue is going to attack um, one of my figures he can only attack once so I'm just gonna roll a d3 that's uh, 1 through 2 3 to 4 5 to 6 and that's on a six-sided dice to see uh, who gets attacked. Okay, so this is the D3 roll, and I rolled a one. It's my infantry woman, red woman there, that's gonna get attacked by this statue. So he kind of swirls around, and he's gonna attack the red so woman. So yellow dice is me, uh, black dice is the red woman, and that's plus one fight versus plus three fight that the red woman has. So let's see. Okay, I rolled a 10 plus 3, 13. And he rolls a 15 plus 1 is 16. So now we go okay, to that. So 16 minus her armor of 11 is 5, and she takes 5 points of damage. Not good. Not good. All right, and it looks like the statue has one wound, uh, one wound on it. That was Creature Phase 1, now Creature Phase 2. Uh, I'm sorry, the Apprentice Phase. We have no Apprentice Phase. Uh, and so we move on to Creature Phase 2. There is no other creature on the board. So we skip that as well. And we go to the Soldier Phase. And now all my soldiers can attack. So first soldier I'm going to do is my Infantry Woman, since she got attacked last turn. And let's see what happens. This is for the golem, as always. And that's plus three versus plus one. So, uh, golem rolls a 17 plus one, 18. And I roll a five plus one is six. No, looks like red woman is going okay, down. Okay, so the red woman takes another seven points of damage. Uh, and of course that is uh, the total is over a health of 10 uh, as the damage is 12 so she is out 
of the board, she's knocked out of commission. Yikes. Okay, I haven't been doing too bad considering I have two treasure markers out of the board. Um, so let's see. Still the soldier phase, turn five. So uh, now my war dog is going to attack. And black is the golem as always. And that's plus one, plus one. So I have an 11. The golem only has a one. Yes. So that's two. Um, however, the golem's armor is like a 12. So uh, he takes no damage. Yeah, so that statue is just too hard for puppy. Um, he didn't do any damage. Now we go to the treasure hunter, the last in that little group. Okay, treasure hunter versus golem. She is a plus four. Golem is plus one. And the dice. Oh, look at that. Even numbers. Um, she has a plus four, so that's eight. And he is a plus one, so that's five. She wins the fight, however, his armor is too strong, and so she doesn't do any damage. And... That is that. So my archer is going to move and he's going to get into position here. Uh, he's going to wake up another statue probably next turn. Um, he goes in. But I'm not going to pick up the token just yet. Um, hmm. If I pick it up, the statue is going to come right to life. It won't attack until next turn. Hmm. Uh... Oh, well, let's do it. It's turn five. What the heck? Uh, he picks up the treasure token. Statue comes to life. And next turn, it will make its move. But he has a treasure token. He will be at a disadvantage, however, because of um, the, uh, the weight of the treasure. All right, folks. So uh, that's it. Turn five is over. We go to the last turn, turn six. Okay, wizard's turn six, and uh, my wizard is within line of sight of that statue which just came to life, and there's my archer. Now that statue is going to attack next turn in the creature phase one, so I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to cast a sigilist uh, spell that I have. It is eight casting line, and um, it's called push. And, um, Eight, it has a plus two penalty because it is an aligned school of magic, but it gets a little bit of a penalty. So let's do the casting roll. Okay, I need a ten. And that looks like a sixteen. Yep, sixteen exactly. So uh, there we go, we got it focused. So it's a 16 and the spell goes off. Okay, so now the living statue uh, is pushed directly away from the wizard, but I have to do a plus 10 attack on the statue. And instead of taking damage, uh, the number of points that he would have taken as damage is the number of inches he is pushed back away from my wizard, which is right over there. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, and here is the plus 10 attack. That is 11. Uh, plus 10 is 21. Minus the armor of the golem, which is 12. That golem is pushed 9 inches back. I'm going to use my little stick here. And that's 10 inches. So roughly pushed back way over here. Um, Okay, and he was pushed back. There goes my wizard all the way down there. Pushed back by the effects of that spell. Uh, so that was a really good move. And now it's the creature phase one. Okay, so my wizard has one more action. And I think I am going to uh, use a leap spell, which is a summoner spell. It has a plus four penalty to the eight that I have to roll um, but I want to do it on the archer and see if I can make him leap out the board with that treasure token so let's see what happens okay here's the casting roll and he roll a 10 well so close so close 
Rolled a 10. All right, so it doesn't look like that elf is going to be able to secure the last treasure token unless I played another turn. Um, he's pretty much, even if he runs out, he's encumbered. And so he doesn't have quite enough move to make it to that table edge. Let's see if I could just take down this one statue um, that's going to give my wizard experience points. Uh, for every statue I kill, I get 25 experience points. And so far, I have one down. Okay, so creature phase one, uh, the statue attacks the war dog. Here's the roll. Plus one versus plus one. Uh, black is the statue. So, it rolled a 19 for a 20. I rolled a 17 if I consider my plus one. So, I lose the fight. My armor is only 10. So, he takes 10 points of damage. My war doggy. And he's only 8 health. So, uh, yeah, there goes that. Okay, um, hmm. So, uh, the statue has one more action, but it does not attack twice. So, uh, I could either move uh, or just continue in base in uh, melee combat, and that's what it will do. So, uh, now we go to the, uh, we skip the apprentice phase, and we go straight to creature phase 2. Okay, so this golem is activating in creature phase 2. This way, a creature will activate every creature phase so uh, hmm. there is my wizard and I just want to check something let's see if I can position the camera okay and there's the laser uh, doesn't look like my wizard is in line of sight um, yeah can't really see it to the wizard but it really Oh, no, it, it doesn't look like the wizard is in line of sight. Um, if I put the laser here, yeah, it's way out. So, this guy's going to uh, roll a random movement, and they move five inches. They're slow. Okay, so let's see. It's going to knock some trees down. All right, it's going to move towards that uh, board edge here. So, five inches this way. So, it's just going to move right towards that board edge. And it's going to stay right there. Okay, soldier phase. Now my treasure hunter is going to attack. Uh, she has plus four fight against plus one of the statue. She also has a two-handed weapon, which I've been kind of forgetting in some of the previous uh, turns. She can do plus two damage because of that weapon. Um, so let's see if she hits. Okay, the golem has 10. She only rolled a 2 for, uh, for a 6. So, um, she does have, she does have a, a 11 armor and the golem only rolled a 10. So there is no damage uh, taken. Alright, next thing to do and the very last thing to do is to move that archer and really it doesn't matter he's not going to be able to go to the table edge because he is encumbered he's at half his movement so uh, all right this is it this is the end of the game end of turn six and uh, thank you folks for watching and this is the situation on the board at turn six this is the way the game stopped here is my wizard with one wound Infantry woman still uh, engaged to that statue and then we have the archer there who uh, wanted to get away with a treasure token But he couldn't and we have the living statue which uh, Decided to go all the way over there on a random roll So uh, that's it. That is game and here is the table Thank you folks again, and uh, we will have more games for Frostgrave week Have a good day